everybody. Today we're going to be making dinosaur hatching bins. To begin, you're going to need some teeny tiny dinosaurs and some balloons. Go ahead and stretch your balloon out nice and good and blow it up. And let it out. Now that it's nice and stretched, we're going to open up the neck and we're going to stick our tiny creature inside. There we go. Now, we're gonna take it to the sink and fill it up at the nozzle. I don't actually have a sink here, but it's okay, because I filled this balloon up for us already. So you've got your balloon with the water, dinosaurs inside. So the next step is you're gonna stick this balloon in the freezer for six to 12 hours. All right, we have our frozen balloons. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your frozen balloon and you are gonna cut off the very tip. This is definitely a portion for the adults to do. Once your tip is cut off, you peel the rubber back and you have your dinosaur egg. So once you've gotten all of the dinosaur eggs removed from their shell, now we're gonna go ahead and give them to our littles. So I recommend putting these in a bucket, otherwise it's going to be very messy. And then handing them some different tools. I recommend having some droppers, big ones, little ones, some measuring cups, and different pouring devices. Also, a squirt bottle is really fun. You're gonna want some lukewarm water, not too hot, but not cold. And we're gonna go ahead and hatch some of our dinosaurs. Let's see which one we're gonna hatch first. How about you, little guy? This is a really great opportunity to talk about different properties like solids versus liquids, and also to talk about temperature and how hot water can melt ice. Once you've hatched your dinosaur, <laughs> you can play with them, or you can do a little sorting exercise. Oh, here they come. There we go. There's one of them. So one of the ways that I like to do this activity is I like to hatch things other than dinosaurs, like stingrays in the ocean come out of eggs, and frogs in a pond come out of eggs. But you can also go ahead and put some different materials in here that don't hatch. For example, we can talk about mammals and how they don't hatch, or stormtroopers, which definitely don't hatch. So this is a great opportunity to expand from talking about reptiles and amphibians and mammals, and also talking about living and non-living things. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up and follow us on social media. Daniel Boone, Regional Library.